Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new then welcome back girl. So in today's video we're going to be doing another Pinterest inspired video and today's style icon focus because if you've been following me then you know the last two videos I've been recreating outfits from some some of my favorite style icons. So we've done Lori Harvey and then last week we did Tracy Ellis Roth and you guys definitely love the outfits that I recreated from her style. So today we're going to be doing an icon that actually nobody nobody actually recommended her but I love her and I love her style and I have been for years and that style icon is going to be Gabrielle Union. I love her style. I think it's just it's kind of like Tracy Ellis Ross style a little bit. It's very eclectic. It's very different. You know what I mean? It's not basic. She is definitely not a basic you know dresser. I mean she does have her moments where she does have like some you know basic outfits but for the most part when you see her out about you know even running errands her looks are pretty much very elevated and just very styled up in such unique way. I really loved her style when she was on her show Being Mary Jane. I really loved that show and I, I loved watching her and just loved watching it for her fashion and she loved to wear Ugg boots. I remember when I was watching that show that her dress down looks were pretty much an Ugg boot. I think that's where my obsession or love for Uggs really originated from was watching her in Be Being Mary Jane. But I love Gabrielle Union style. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Like, no, I want to do, you know, style icons that I like and that I feel like I can, you know, connect with or in some kind of way, I feel like our styles are somewhat different or I feel like I can recreate looks you know based on what I have in my wardrobe. So I'm going to recreate some looks based on Gabrielle Union style so if you want to see the looks that I come up with then just keep watching. Alright and here is the first look and I'll pop the inspo pic on the screen and this was a very easy look to recreate. Like I said earlier in the intro that her outfits I feel like you know her outfits are very eclectic and she doesn't have many like basic outfits well this is one that i did find um and this was very few you know few and far between that i found an outfit where it's pretty much just kind of like basic and neutral and so yeah this looks like a cute little running errands outfit so i knew i could recreate this and i just pretty much emulated the same like outfit formula as she did um looks like she has on a like a black trench coat and then she has on a sweatsuit and like in this cream it's like a creamy like a grayish cream kind of color and then she has on a tote bag and some Nike. I don't know what kind of shoes those are. What kind of Nikes those are. But anyway, she has on some Nike sneakers. So, um, And I had similar pieces and I could re recreate that look. And like I said, it's really about the outfit formula with a trench coat, a sweatsuit, and some sneakers. So, and a tote bag. So that's what I did with this look. I actually added on some earrings. These like Bottega dupes. These are from Amazon. Just to kind of further style the look up um, and go with the silver. Because I do have silver metallic in my shoes. I'll show you guys in just a second. But yeah, just to kind of further style it up a little bit with some accessories. I just did some bold earrings, statement earrings. So I have this black trench coat that I've had in my wardrobe, I think, since the beginning of the year. This is a black trench coat that I got from Pretty Little Thing. And then underneath that, I have on a sweatsuit. I actually made it a sweatsuit. It's actually from two different brands. Um, so the hoodie is from H&M, and then my sweatpants are from Shein. And then I have on my Prada tote bag, and then I have on these black and silver metallic uh, Nike. These are the Jordan 1s. Yeah, Air Jordan 1s. I have so many Jordan 1s. Um, so I actually love these because they have the silver metallic, which silver metallic is very trendy right now. So, um, again, like I said, it ties in with my silver metallic little earring, statement earring. So, um, but this is just a very basic, simple look. I feel like I said, I feel like anybody can recreate this look. Um, it's a look that I would wear to run errands, you know, to go to my son's basketball game because we are coming up on basketball season. So I'll probably wear something like this to one of his basketball games just because it's comfortable and it's just also kind of chic as well because it's black and white kind of monochrome monochromatic look you know with black and white um although i'll be a little nervous to wear white to a basketball game um just because we eat snacks and stuff but yeah but anyway i, I still wear a variation of this because i do have several like hoodies and sweatpants um and then just putting on a little trench coat yeah i also love this outfit and like i said it's just easy i started the look off fairly easy for you guys so I feel like you guys can probably recreate something like this too but yeah absolutely love the you know my recreation you know it's nothing too outside of the box or anything so like I said we're starting off simple so but you guys let me know what you think about this look and we'll get into the next one all right here's the next look and this was definitely a super fun look to recreate I had just I just came up with this on the fly like I 
saved the photo and I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to pull this off, but I'm going to make it work and figure out how to recreate this look. So, um, the info pick on pop it on the screen. This is just a cute sheet look. Like I said, she definitely is very eclectic and her style is just, yeah, similar, like I said, to Tracy Ellis Ross, where she's very bold and don't mind mixing print and, you know, incorporating color into her look. So with this particular outfit, she has on a wide brim little fedora hat it looks like the inside of it is kind of like this turquoise color similar to her top um speaking of the top i love that top i think it's so pretty i love like the ruffle detail at like the collar you know up at the neckline i just think that's really pretty and then she has on some like little like parachute looking pants or trousers they're like in this mustard yellow color and then she has on a belt of course ascension the waist not really the ascension her waist so i feel like she really didn't need the belt but i don't know um, I feel like the pants in itself cinch in the waist, the belt, I guess, is just to further accessorize. And then, um, she has on some, uh, black heels. So, yeah, love that look. And it definitely caught my attention when I was, you know, scrolling Pinterest trying to find her outfits. I definitely love the color combination of, like, this turquoise blue and this mustard yellow color. So, that's basically what I did. I just went, again, like I said, with the color scheme because I knew I didn't have any pieces like that in my wardrobe. So, that's another way that you can recreate these looks is you don't necessarily have to, you know, get the exact pieces. You can just recreate the color combination, um, especially if you love color or you want to dive into color and try to, you know, try out color. So, so that's what I did with this look because I never would have thought to put these pieces together. Um, so starting from the top, I have on my little wide brim, little hat. I kind of um, put a little bit to the back a little bit, kind of similar to hers. Hers is kind of like a little bit to the back. So um, I just kind of did that with mine. Um, but this is um, old from H&M. She doesn't have on these sunglasses, but I like to further accessorize. So I put on these orange tinted lenses, sunglasses that I got from Amazon. I'm always styling them up. Y'all are probably tired of me styling them up, but I love them. And then I went with this blazer, this turquoise blazer. This is actually part of a suit set. Um, so I think I got it from ASOS last year. Um, and then I just have on a bandeau top underneath it because I wanted to kind of wear kind of do a little something different and kind of like see how I can really style up this blazer so I unbuttoned one of the buttons and kind of wear you know kind of wearing it like one off the shoulder a little bit because off the shoulder tops and just off the shoulder you know in general is uh, another good you know another trend for the season so I just wanted to just kind of do like this one shoulder kind of detail so I just thought that was kind of cute um just another different way to style up a blazer um, and then I just popped on a little rosette type of roach. This is from Zara because, like I said, in the in her outfit, her uh, neckline was kind of like in that ruffle detail. So just kind of add a little bit of ruffle detail, if you will, to the look. I just added a little floral brooch that I got from Zara. And then I just cinched in the waist a little bit because this is an oversized blazer with this belt. I think it's from Zara. Um, and then she doesn't have on a handbag, but I just popped on like a little gold clutch. I think this is from Zara or Shein, one of them, um, just to kind of go with the gold because I do have a gold, some gold elements in my belt. And then the skirt, um, is a mustard yellow skirt. It's like a fitted skirt or like a pencil skirt. Um, and it's kind of ribbed and this is from Zara and then she has on some black shoes I wanted to do something different like I said kind of go bold because this is a bold look so go you know go bold or go home so I just went with these leopard print heels I don't even know where these are from I've had these for years as well um, just to kind of add a little bit more fun to the de you know fun detail to the look so but this is the look you guys let me know what you think about it I absolutely love it just think it's just so cute and just so stylish and this is a cute outfit that I would wear like to date night or something with my husband you know I just think it'll be a cute look to style up and it's definitely definitely something really comfortable um definitely something that uh, is outside the box for me but I absolutely love it so but you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of the look and we will get into the next one all right here's the next look and i absolutely love it i knew i could recreate this um she just has on a bomber jacket then underneath that just like looks like a sweater camo cargo pants and then like a tote bag and some block heels so and some just simple sunglasses so just a cute outfit again a chic outfit a cute running errands outfit looks like she might be going to some meetings or something so um i knew i could recreate that look pretty easily so um starting from the top i just have one of these sunglasses um that i just absolutely love these are from free people and then kind of like have a gradient effect to kind of like 
brown and kind of pink if you will the lenses are and i love like this little bar detail here um so yeah these are from free people and then i have on this like distressed it kind of looks a little vintage kind of vintage vibe going on um i think these are viral from zara um, but yeah, so this is from Zara and it's kind of in this crop detail. So yeah, it's a bummer jacket. And then underneath it, I have on a gray, just, um, a simple gray, things like a mock neck that I got from H&M years ago. Um, I've had this thing for, I don't know how long and just still good, holding up really good quality. Um, like I said, from H&M. So, and then I have on these joggers. I think hers are like a, more of a cargo style. Mine are just plain, simple joggers. Um, yeah, absolutely love these. So they're like this cargo print and tote bag. Um, I just went with this little brown tote bag just to add a little bit more color to the look and a little bit more texture and more dimension. And then my boots, she doesn't have any boots. Um, uh, I'm kind of like, like I said, I like a, a word that I've made up, fallerize this look because I wouldn't wear sandals. It's, it's just too cold. My feet get cold really easily. So I have to have boots. So I just swapped out the heels, you know, the little sandals for some boots um and these are like some green and brown boots they are a dupe of the chloe ones and i got these from ego i think two years ago so when they're in this green i kind of go with the green in my pants so um but i absolutely love this outfit like i said it's a simple outfit um that i just kind of like put together and i definitely like i said would wear this to run errands um you know, again, I'd wear this to one of my son's basketball games. Um, I'd wear this, like, on a rainy day. Because, like, like I said, I have on, like, these rain-type boots. So, on a rainy day, this is a cute, chic look to wear. You know, if you... Because I don't like to go out when it's raining, really, honestly. But, you know, we can't let the rain, you know, stop the show, right? So, if you want to... If you need to go out in the rain to run errands, I feel like this is a cute look. You know, because you still look chic and stylish, put together, very modern. And... But you're also functional because you have on your rain boots and, you know... A little jacket also so i love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of the look and yeah we'll get into the next one all right here's the next outfit and i just absolutely love it it's so simple um again it's just a basic look um but it's chic and elevated and yeah just absolutely love it it's very modern like this is an outfit that i feel like it's a classic and you know you can wear this you know now and i feel like you can wear it 10 years from now maybe not the crop shirt because i feel like crop shirts are trendy but you can definitely swap it out for just a regular shirt so um but yeah absolutely love it she has on a cropped prada top um, like button up top and then some pinstripe pants of course a prada bag and i'm pretty sure her loafers or shoes or Prada as well. It's probably an entire Prada outfit that they probably gave to her. So, um, I don't know. Maybe she bought it. I don't know. But, you know, it whichever whichever one. She still looks chic. So, um, so this is my recreation of the look. I kind of added my own little thing to it as well. So, I'm um, starting from the top. She doesn't have on any sunglasses. I feel like I don't really see her with sunglasses on that often. So, I just added on some. These are like a zebra print type of sunglass. And these are from... Shein, I believe. Um, I put on some silver hoop earrings just to kind of further, like I said, accessorize the look. I put on this Beb little necklace here that I just recently got from Amazon just to kind of go with, add something to this look because she has on, her top is very statement because it has Prada logo on it. So I just wanted to add a statement to my piece or to my look with a statement um, a little uh, necklace here that I got from Amazon. And then I have this little... Um, silver metallic handbag that I got from JW Pay. Again, to kind of continue on with this silver metallic theme of this outfit. And then my pinstripe pants, these are from Zara. They are very oversized. Well, not really oversized, but just wide leg, just extreme wide leg pants or trousers. Um, but yeah, they're pinstripe. Pinstripe is another huge trend for the year. And then I put on my Prada loafers. They are the backless ones. And I probably would further style this up with maybe some colorful socks. I think that would be cute just to have like a little pop of color whenever I sit down. Because you can't see the socks when I'm standing because the pants are so long. But when I sit down, yeah, I could further style these up with some colorful socks. I should have did that before I started filming. But um, but anyway, this is the look. It's very simple. Um, this is another look that um, I saw. And I was like, you know what? I can recreate that. That seems pretty easy and pretty simple. Just, again, a black and white outfit. So really love it. You guys let me know what you think about it and what you think about me adding like some colorful socks to this or maybe even like some like socks with like 
some sort of like perforation in it or something or some sort of like um like knee high so i know people don't wear knee high socks that much anymore anyway but i don't know you guys let me know what you think about like some colorful socks because i really love this outfit and i think i would wear this out and i probably wear like a jacket on top too just a further like layer maybe a cardigan would be cute with this um i have a burberry cardigan so i think it, when i wear this out i'll probably just layer my burberry, burberry cardigan on top of it too to further style this up so um but you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of the look i definitely love it like i said very chic and i would wear this to run errands i wear this to um go date night with my husband it's just a cute look this is a cute like you know office look like if you work in an office and set you know environment like i said you don't have to do the crop top you can of course just do a, bu a plain button up top and then just tuck it in if you want to so but i love this look you guys let me know what you think about my recreation and we'll get into the next one all right here's the next look and this look is definitely kind of going outside of the box for me um but you guys let me know what you think um so this is the look um looks like she has on like a sequin top um it looks like it's around christmas because she is posing in front of a christmas tree so this is a cute like festive like christmas outfit i feel like like a day you know day, the day of christmas outfit you know um so yeah the top is like a sequin top and then she has on looks like some joggers she loves joggers obviously um then she has on some silver metallic little heels like strap like two strap heels um just a basic outfit if i feel like well not really basic but um i feel like it's a neutral enough outfit and you know I, most people don't wear black you know outfits around christmas but the definitely the sequence kind of you know makes it more festive so definitely loved her look definitely thought it was really cute and unique um styling like a dressy top like that with something you know very simple and just kind of like basic and casual um with the jogger so um love this look i love how she juxtaposed those different styles so that's what i did with this look you guys let me know what you think um starting from the top um i just kept on these same little silver hoop earrings just to kind of go with the silver that i will share with you guys in a second down below the party is downstairs y'all um so and then i have on some sunglasses again she, i don't think she really hardly ever wears sunglasses so i just put on my gucci sunglasses that i got from amazon i think last year and then this sequin little bomber jacket y'all know i love a good bomber jacket i have so many and i keep collecting more uh, but this is a sequin bomber jacket that i got from shein i think last year i just absolutely love it it's just very comfortable and the sequins when you like rub on it and stuff they're not just like falling off you know um so yeah love it and i love like the little zipper detail it has like this little ring kind of detail on the zipper so i love that and then the joggers i just have on these simple basic joggers i think they are from shein as well and then the fun like i said the party's at the bottom so i don't know you guys let me know like i said i've been loving pairing up socks with different like shoes like socks with loafers socks with you know sneakers obviously and then i thought i would do kind of like a socks with heels and these are the heels these are these heels are actually they're from zara they're like a pointed toe silver metallic heel and then i just have on these socks these like sporty socks that i got from target so um i definitely like i said went kind of went outside of the box with this outfit especially with the socks paired with the um uh heels i don't know you guys let me know what you think i thought it was fun like it's a cute you know outside the box look and you know i'm all about like experimenting with my style if i don't like it then i just won't wear it again right like it's not that deep with me it's not that you know i don't take fashion that far some people you know that are in this you know fashion business or fashion industry or fashion thing i've noticed they take this very seriously and for me it's not that serious it's just about having fun and i mean you know there are more important things in this world than to sit here and you know just go crazy and just like oh you shouldn't wear that and oh that doesn't look good with that or you know all these different style rules and fashion rules that i'm sure you guys know it's like it ain't that deep y'all like come on like fashion is supposed to be fun it's not supposed to be that deep um so anyway i just went on a whole rant there um but i love this look i definitely think i will wear this um and maybe to wear it to date night or something like around the festive season like around christmas i definitely wore something like this 
Um, once it starts getting cold, I'll probably layer up with like a turtleneck or something underneath the uh, bomber jacket. But I just thought this was fun. And I have never ever worn socks with heels like this. So I'm going to try it out, y'all. Like, stay tuned. I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to wear this look. I'm going to wear it somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm going to wear it somewhere. Um, but you guys let me know what you think about it. Um, it's definitely an outside of the box for me. And I think it's one of my favorites so far that I've created. Um, uh, during this video so all right you guys let me know what you think about this look and we will get into the next one all right and here's the next look and when I saw it I knew I had to recreate it because it was just so cute and basically she just has on a trench coat that's it's not really just a, a basic trench coat it has like some detail at the bottom of it as you can see with like these little different patches on it um, different colorful patches on it so I just thought that was really cute and unique and I love that trench coat and then underneath that she just has on a denim um, dress and then like a little bucket bag with a wooden handle and some like navy blue little like western mules um, so I just really love this look thought it was super cute and so I knew I could recreate it with some of the pieces that I had in my wardrobe so um, starting from the top I just draped on this trench coat that I got from H&M it's just a long trench coat in like this beige color and I absolutely love it out of all the trench coats I have and I have several this is probably the best quality that uh, of all the ones that I have I mean it is this super good quality like it it seems like or if you like look at it and just really like feel it um, you would think it came from you know somewhere more expensive like it looks like a Burberry trench um, but it's really good quality but it's from H&M so um, and then underneath it um, I have on this dress it's like a mesh style dress and I got this from Zara I think when this came out everybody named mama and a grandmama got this uh, dress girl um, but it's supposed to mimic like a demic uh, demic <laughs> it's supposed to mimic a denim patchwork dress um, and I don't have a denim dress so I just or yeah like hers so I just went with this it looks like denim but it's not so um, but it has this different patches like patchwork kind of detail to it so just to kind of go with the patchwork in you know Gabrielle's outfit um, with her trench coat I just kind of did the patchwork in the dress so but it's supposed to like denim and it does like denim unless you just kind of get up get up on it and you can tell it's not denim but I just absolutely love it it's just very such just very much so a statement dress um, and then as far as my handbag I just went with this little um, bucket bag that I got from I think I got this from Shein it's like a um, transparent type of bag and it has like a little um, like I said wood detail on it and then as far as my shoes, I just went with these little mules. These are denim mules that I just recently got a couple of months ago from Mango. And I just absolutely love these. Um, so, yeah, so this is a cute fall outfit. Like, I can wear this now. And I feel like I won't, you know, freeze or anything. My feet will probably freeze. I don't know. I might I probably would switch out the shoes for maybe some booties or something. Um, but it's, if I'm going in, like just going into a restaurant or something that, you know, this is, then it's fine to wear these shoes. So, um, it's just a cute look. I feel like, you know, it's just a, you know, very just like sheet look. Um, again, like I said, I would wear this to date night. Um, yeah, I love it. I would wear this casually with just like some sneakers, maybe, um, like maybe one of my Adidas Sambas or something, or one of my several pair of sneakers. Um, to, if I wanted to wear this to run errands because it's a very comfortable outfit and so if I wanted to wear it more casually then I definitely would swap out the shoes for like some sneakers so but I absolutely love this outfit and just love my recreation of it and just kind of gives me ideas of how to wear this dress because it is just a one and done dresses are one and done so um, I can you know bring this dress out for the fall and winter time because it was a dress that I wore mainly in the spring and summer so I can further you know get my wear out of this dress by you know putting on a trench coat or some sort of coat and yeah I'm definitely looking forward to styling this up for the fall and winter season so why you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of the look and we will get into the next one all right here's the next look and just absolutely love it it's also kind of festive look um so in the insole pic she has on this beautiful red blazer we you know red is a huge trending color um and then she has on like a sweetheart neckline with a very like low plunging um neckline like a heart sweetheart neckline and then she has on some black trousers this might even just be like a little um jump jumpsuit i don't know um, but it's cute and then she has on it's like a silver metallic handbag and 
some sandals. So um, I just kind of made this look my own. So I popped on um, some um, accessories. Let me do it with accessories first because she doesn't have, she doesn't accessorize a whole lot. Um, so I just went with some little cat eye sunglasses. These are from Amazon. And then I have on this chunky silver necklace. And then this, uh, this is from Shein. And then my blazer is super old. This is from Express. And then I have on this little bando top it is from amazon i have these in several colors and it also kind of goes with that sweetheart it's a sweetheart neckline so um and then my trousers these are from h and i've had these for a little bit um i think since last year i absolutely love them they're actually still available on h m and then my handbag i didn't do a silver because i feel like i've been a lot styling up a lot of silver in this video so i just went with some gold um so i went with this little handbag it's kind of a gucci kind of dupe i think this is from commence a brand called commence i believe um and then i didn't want to put on any heels because i wanted to kind of make this more of a like a dress down type of look um so i went with my little um nike dunks here in the black and white just to kind of dress it down a little bit because it is very classic and very chic um like i said it's a very cute outfit to wear for the holiday season you know around christmas so um for me I would probably just style it up with some sneakers just to make it um, like a running errands type of an outfit, if you will. Um, but I absolutely love it. I definitely never would have thought to, you know, style this together. Although, actually I would. I probably would have styled this together. I would. Because it's just, yeah, so simple. And, you know, I like simple looks sometimes. So, But um, I love to style it up with the sneakers. So... But I absolutely love this look. Love my recreation of the look. You guys let me know what you think. And yeah, we'll get into the next one. All right, here is the final look that I'm going to recreate. And I absolutely love this look. Um, in the inspo pic, she has on this beautiful like chocolate brown blazer. Um, it looks like the blazer is doubling as her top. So because I don't can't tell if she has a top on. Um, underneath that blazer um, and then her, she has on like a little pencil skirt with like a little slit in the back and then I don't know what kind of bag this is but it's so cute it's like a textured bag looks like it might be wooden or something and then of course she has on like these sandals that have like a little um, strap on the toe or the or, yeah on the toe on the big toe so yeah just a cute chic look I definitely loved it she doesn't have on any sunglasses and I love to style up my looks with sunglasses so I went with these cat eye frame sunglasses they're like in this tortoise shell detail just to kind of go with the brown and the black of this outfit and then um, the blazer this blazer is from Zara it's like in this um, camel dark camel brown kind of tone and then underneath that I have on this bodycon dress this is from where did I get this from I can't remember where I got it from um, but if, I've had it for a little bit I think I got it over the summer and it's like ribbed material um and it's uh, like a little tank sort of situation and then i popped on my little fendi handbag just again to go with the brown and the black i love to style up brown and black together i just think that's a cute color combination um and then of course you know we're in the fall and winter season so i'm not gonna wear any sandals with this look you know this time of year so um i went with these boots and they're like my little cowboy boots and these are Jeffrey Campbell, and I got them from Nordstrom last year, I believe. And I love all the detail. It has black. Well, the boots are black, obviously, but it has, like, this little, like, detail on it. And I just love these boots. They're so comfortable. So, um, but this is how I came up with this look. I got, I'm working with a lot of pattern, but all of them, you know, all this pattern is in the same color tone and the color family of brown and black. So, it just works, and it looks really cute and chic. So, um, but yeah, I love this outfit. I'll wear this to date night um with my husband because i think it's a cute date night look um i don't know i'd run errands too because like i said the boots are comfortable so i wouldn't be too uncomfortable and the split is actually kind of high so <laughs> probably to further layer up especially once it starts getting really cold i'll probably just put on some like um stockings or some leggings or um yeah some tights or something to further style this up so but yeah i love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of the look and yeah that's it
all right guys so that's it let me know down in the comments which outfit was your favorite um yeah i'd love to know which one you guys like which one i recreated the best um and again like i said before and i mentioned it in this video you know fashion is about fun for me if you love fashion and you're a fashion enthusiast like me you're just you know out here just trying to have fun with your fashion then this is the channel for you but if you're really trying to get like style tips i think i give style tips every now and again but you know it's just based on what you know i like so just take that take it with a grain of salt like over here we have fun so it's not that serious so um but thank you guys so much for watching if you love these videos just you know be, be sure to like and subscribe so i know that you do and if there are any other like style icons or any other people that you want me to recreate some looks for um just let me know and i'll try to add that to the list so but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye guys <music>